Our people are told not to drink the water from the river, not to eat the moose that are living along the river. We have never experienced this in our entire history. In the same way as where I live, you have tar sands in these mountains. If you begin to exploit those tar sands, in a very short time, you're going to lose your history, your children, the future of your people here. Any way you look at it, it, it's very different. And it's not a threat to the environment like the Canadian operations are. We have an admitted environmental and health disaster in Alberta, but somehow, magically, we're not gonna have any of that in Utah. That doesn't fly with us. We're essentially going to crank this landscape into a machine and leave a lunar-like landscape left behind with a legacy of contaminated aquifers. Rain will just percolate through all this rubble and all their residue solvents and all their residue hydrocarbons will be vectored into groundwater and surface water and, and that will eventually affect either the Green, the Colorado or the White River. The Colorado River provides culinary water for about 35 million people downstream um, in Utah, Nevada, uh, Mexico, and certainly California. The amount of water that would be both used and polluted as a function of that development is ungodly. It's very hard to overstate how serious a public health issue this really is. There are already groups forming here on the ground and coalitions being formed to blockade roads, stop machinery, to physically get in the way of this project. And that's even before it starts. The most important thing for people to understand is that there's lots of hope in killing this bad idea. Bad ideas are hard to sell. Tar sands and oil shale emit three times the greenhouse gases as conventional fossil fuels. In order to prevent climate catastrophe, this dirty energy needs to stay on the ground. Join the action and be part of a rapidly growing movement calling on President Obama to define his climate legacy by stopping new federal fossil fuel leases on public lands and waters, a move that would keep up to 450 billion tons of carbon pollution out of the atmosphere. Join the Keep It in the Ground movement today. Visit waterkeeper.org forward slash keep it in the ground and tell President Obama to stop new oil, gas, and tar sands leasing on our public lands.